Hey guys, so on my last video, I talked a little bit about a feature that's only available on the mobile application, but it's also a fairly pointless feature. Um, so in this video, I thought I'd talk about another feature that's only on the mobile application, but it's actually a very useful feature, and I think that TickTick should probably expand this feature to be available on the desktop apps as well as the web app. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so I'm pulling up my phone here again, and I'm on my main screen of my phone. You can see I've got my Tick Tick widget up on my home screen. That's not what I'm gonna to discuss today though. I'm gonna go into my apps. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna select Tick Tick from my apps. You can see right away I'm on my today view, and I've got quite a few different tasks I need to do today. All right, and I could try to look through this and sort through it, maybe prioritize them if I wanted to. But there's another option, and that's what I want to discuss today. So if you look up at the upper right corner of the screen, uh, there's the three dots. But right to the left of the three dots is a circle that kind of looks like a target. I'm not exactly sure what that icon is supposed to be, but it uh, looks like a target with something else in it. I'm going to go ahead and click that button. So right away it tells me, good morning. And it says to start the day off with a smile, or start the day right with a smile. So that's kind of nice. And then it brings up my tasks one by one. So the first task I have to do today is fix the wiring. So what I would do, uh, what I would suggest is that I leave this task up on my app and go fix the wiring. Once I'm done fixing the wiring, I would come in and select done from the uh, menu down there at the bottom. You see I have a lot of different options down there at the bottom. But the first one on the left side is done. So in this case, I'm going to say, yeah, I fixed the wiring. I'm going to go ahead and mark this as done. Done. So now I'm on to my next task. And you can see uh, right above the menu on the bottom is like a task count. So I'm on task two of eight for today. So this one is submit scan. Now, let's say that uh, I can't submit the scan yet for some reason, and I need to do that later. So I'm going to select the later option right there in the middle of the uh, bottom menu. And it gives me some options, right? So I can do this tomorrow. I could do it next Monday. I could pick a date, or I could clear the date for now. So I'm going to say, submit the scan. I'll do that tomorrow. Done. So now... On to the next task. I'm on task three of eight. So store artifacts. I can do this task today, but I'm not ready to do it yet. So instead of picking done or later, I'm going to pick the, uh, the item right between those two, which is the today option in the lower menu. And then it gives me some more options, right? I can do it uh, sometime. I can do it in the afternoon. I can do it in the evening. So I'm going to select, I'll do it in the evening. And now that one's taken care of, at least for now. All right, on to task four of eight. You can see I only have two other options available on the, uh, on the lower menu, and that's won't do and delete. So just uh, to walk through it, I'm gonna select that I won't do sort samples. All right, so now that's off my list. Run diagnostics, I'm gonna say I got that completed. Process data is completed. And clean the O2 filter. I'm going to do that later. I will do that. Uh, let's pick a date. Let's pick a date for uh, Thursday. I got one more. Assign engine output. This is task 8 of 8. And I'm going to say uh, I did that one. And it finishes. It says everything's on a roll. You can see now on my today view, I only have one task. And that was the one task that I said I would do today, but I'll do it later. I'll do it in the evening. So it automatically assigned a 5 p.m. time on the due date. And so that's it. And so I really think that this feature on the mobile app is pretty cool. I think this is available on both Android and iPhone. But as far as I can tell, again, it's not available on the web app. It's not available on Windows or Mac. And I think it should be, right? This is kind of a cool feature. I like this because it really puts the one task right up in front of your face and it's there until you decide what you're going to do with it. Are you going to complete it? Are you going to postpone it? 
Are you going to say you're not going to do it? You know, what are you going to do? And it's right there. It takes up the whole screen. And I, I like that. So I think this is useful. And I think this is a feature that, you know, I recently discovered. And I've been using TickTick -Tick for a while now. And to be honest, I have seen it before, but I just haven't paid that much attention to it until I really sat down and thought, well, you know, maybe I could use this. And so I'm not even sure what you call this feature. I'm going to call it the uh, daily planner because that seems to be what it, uh, what it is. You can kind of go through and plan your day if you want to, or you can do like I mentioned and just leave the tasks there while you complete them or you decide to postpone them to later today or decide to postpone them to a different day. So that's, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.